Jesus. 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 Come on, come on, come on. You get ready to receive. You get ready to receive. Yeah, my son, tell him, come on, come on, come on. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the sound from heaven. Let the sound from heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me see if it's right. Let me see if it's right. Oh, Jesus! 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 Thank you, Lord. Keep those strings, keep those strings, keep those strings. Man, I need you to step forward. Man, I need you to step forward. Step forward. Amen. Put a little space between you. In a minute, I'm going to lay my hands on you. You are in posture to receive the baptism now. Come here. the Holy Ghost take control don't question it that's why you praise God this long to get your mind out of the way he's about to touch you with his power let him have full control everybody wants the baptism shout Lord I'm ready to receive no you gotta shout it say Lord I'm ready to receive <clears throat> The baptism of the Holy Ghost. We're speaking in other tongues. Say, Spirit of God, take control of my tongue. Take control of my mind. Take control of my body. I yield to you, and I receive all that you have for me. In the name of Jesus. And as I praise you, Take control of my lips. Take control of my tongue. Take control of my mind. Take control of my language. I say yes to your will. 
Everybody that's seated now, come on, raise, raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. Come on, come on. Man, he's about to touch you. Raise your hands, man. Raise your hands. Rababa Sata. Receive. 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 Rababa Sata Ramarama Babo. Shekabarama Mama Sata. Come on, come on, keep it up, keep it up. Mobo. Come on, prayer warriors, where are you? Get up, I see Tarama. Hey! Get up, I suck. Oh, no, 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 no. See Tarama.
Young man, if you would stand over here, turn and just face me this way. The Lord gave me a name to call you. We call you Uncle Virgil. But the Lord said to call you mighty man of valor. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled. The Lord showed me him healing your body. But now after he heals you, after is the tricky part. Do you want the Lord to totally heal you? I'm going to ask you a scary question. If he heals you, well according to the Bible it's already done. We're just talking about manifestation tonight. Your healing's already a done deal, okay? We're just talking about him manifesting what he's already paid for you to have. Anything, and I don't know all of what you're suffering with in your body. I know you went through pneumonia, and I think diabetes, am I correct? I don't know what you're suffering with now, except some symptoms of the weakness that you just come through. Lungs and all of that. When he manifests tonight, will you serve him for the rest of your life? Don't worry about being anybody. Worry about becoming what the Lord says you are to become. And you, sir, are a mighty man of valor. Tonight when I lay my hands upon you, not only am I praying for the manifestation of the healing of your body, but for the opening of your eyes to how God, to how God sees you. Because the enemy has blinded you to seeing yourself one way. And tonight God wants to change your vision. And when you see the image, of what he's called you to be, everything else will follow suit. May I pray for you tonight 
mighty man of valor. I'm proud to know you. And I place the prayer. Do I have any prayer warriors in here? I need somebody praying in the Holy Ghost. This is not TV. I believe that you'll keep this vow. That tonight when he heals your body, that you'll serve him for the rest of your life. You're a man that has sorrows, is well acquainted with grief. But I see something in you that the devil is ultimately afraid of. But he can't have you. Man of battle, raise your hand. There we go. Will you tell the Lord yes? Say yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. Say, Lord, I give you my life all over again. Lord, I receive the gospel and everything that that entails. Yes. Lord, I thank you for the manifestation of my healing. Tonight, make me a new man physically and I'll serve you for the rest of my life. This I vow in Jesus' name. I lay my hands upon y'all praying in the Holy Ghost. Do I have anybody praying in the Holy Ghost? I want the power of the Holy Ghost to fall upon you. Will you receive a touch from him tonight? Yes. Father, oh, that's a mighty anointing. His soul is weary. But you declared, Come unto me, all ye that have labored and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For my yoke is easy. And tonight, Virgil, Mighty man of God, the Lord says tonight he's taking the yoke of heaven. It's all for you. He's switching yokes with you. There's the power. Give me those strings. The power of the Holy Ghost is coming up on this man. Give me those strings. Turn those strings up. Turn the strings up. Turn the strings up. Turn the strings up. <coughs> Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Down just a little. Right there, right there, right there. Give me, give me, give me. I need some worshipers. I need some worshipers. And in the name of Jesus, Father, I ask that your presence fall upon this man. Touch him, I pray. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Visit him. Visit this man. And touch his body afresh. The blood of Jesus is applied to his body now. From head to toe. The power of the Holy Ghost. The blood covers your body. And I command every disease and every sickness to come subject under the power of the Holy Ghost. And in the name of Jesus, I command you to loose your hold. Every other name and every name of sickness that's in this body must bow to the name of Jesus. Be healed. I command your diabetes to go. I command your lungs to be healed. I command your knees to be healed. I command your back to be healed. I command your head to be healed. 
I command every infirmity in this body to go. Receive a touch. Receive a bathing in the presence of God. Touch him afresh and anew. Come on, somebody praise him for it now. Come on and thank him. Revival, revival, revival! Somebody shout revival. A wonderful change has come over me. Everyone standing. A wonderful change has come over me. A wonderful change has come over me. Oh, a wonderful change has come over Come on, say it again. Oh, a has come over has come over me. A wonder, a wonderful change has come over me. A wonder, a wonderful.
Brothers Brown, the Lord simply said to prophesy one word to you, and that is change. Change has come forward. wherever the Lord says change. That's where He will manifest it. Change, change, change. The turning of circumstances change. Do you receive that tonight? Lift your hands and give them praise, woman of God. Oh, I want. There are folk who change has come over me. I want the folk change has come over me. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. Everyone standing, we're getting ready to go home. Change, change, I'm so glad he changed me. Change, 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 I'm so glad he changed me. Oh, wow. All the young children, come here right quick. All the young children, all your babies, come here. Come home. Somebody, yeah, get get big man right there. Bring your babies here. Bring your babies here. The Lord, the, the Lord said, speak over the children. Now I'm, I'm not going to have time to to extensively prophesy into each one of their lives. But these babies, yes, hidden in them are prophetesses and wow. Who's this come come here. Do you want the Lord to use you? Yeah? You want Jesus to use you? You love him? Say, Lord. Lord. Say it now. Say, Lord. Lord. I want you to use me. I want you to use me. In my young age. In my young age. Anoint me afresh. Anoint me afresh. In Jesus' name. Say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You want him to touch you? Raise your hand, baby. What's her name? Alea. How, how, how old are you? Huh? There's something special happening. Raise your hand, sweetie. Someone give God a $31 offering and bring it to the table. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Just bring it to the table. Bring a $31 offering. Not only 
because I hear something to do with money concerning her. Y'all gonna have to protect this one. Now, any any father would protect his virgin daughters, and all of these babies have gifts in them. Ah, keep the song going. Don't break me. But I see something. Somebody get behind this baby. Somebody get behind the baby. Come here, Zion. Y'all move quickly. You want the Lord to touch you? Lord, touch me. I want to open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. And let me see you. I love you. Change my life forever. Change my life forever. And I'll serve you for the rest of my days. I receive your presence in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Paul, Paul, fill them all you know how with Jesus. Instead of the regular Saturday morning cartoons, turn on TV in and let them watch the Bible stories and Flying House. The Holy Ghost says he's going to visit you through your children. Your house is never ever going to be the same again. Man of God, this is why the enemy fought. This is why the battle. Getting all the children in one place, that's why the battle. He didn't want this to happen. Somebody bring that 31. The house is called for. All the rest of you babies, come on. Okay. touch you? Thank you, Jesus. You hear me good. The devil cannot have you. And you ain't nobody's gangster. Forget it.
our man of God. Now, I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is what the Holy Ghost say. Forget it. You've seen Jesus, haven't you? He's been dealing with you. Y'all step back. Raise your hand, son. Stay right there. Get behind him. You've seen the Lord. Something in me tells me you've seen him. Either in your dreams or somehow. But you belong to him. Now, I know your mom and dad, and I don't live, I don't know your character personally. I've just seen you run out of the little kid. But the hand of God is on your life, boy. Close your eyes. Raise your hand. Tell him to touch you. Tell him. Tell him. Receive it. There it is. Tell him. Yield to it. There he is. Don't be afraid. There he is. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Prophet of God. The rest of you babies, come on. Step on over. Step on over. Who's baby? Huh? This the whole how old is she? How old are you? Thirteen. Huh? You want the Lord to touch you? Y'all keep on playing. Raise your hand. Young lady, the Lord doesn't want you to be like everybody else. There's something unique about you. Something very unique about you. Don't try to be rough and tumble. You are a lady. She would get right in my face like this and say, be sweet. Okay. Any, you're going to be really prosperous. She's going to make a lot of money. But before that happens, any resentment that's in you, for any reason, is going to have to be dealt with and cast out. Any 
any resentment. That means any anger you got toward anybody, including mom and daddy or whoever else, or whatever else happened. Jesus wants to deal with your feelings. Do you hear me? He loves you. And he wants to deal personally with you. With the way you feel. With the way you think about things. Satan has desired to have you. And to sift you as we. For the Lord said in his word that he's praying for you that your faith would not fail. I want you to meet Jesus head on, not just the Jesus of your mother, your father and your mother, your mother and your father, but the Jesus that you know. You want that? things that she has not understood to this point. But heal this heart in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Help this lady right here. Come here. Help that lady right there. Hug her good. Big fella. Another prophet of the Lord. This is huh? Isaiah. <laughs> I hear the Lord saying that he's going to be a blessing to you in your old age. He's going to protect his family. Come the rest of the children. Bless you. Come to you. Come to you. Man of God. Man of God. The hidden the hidden, the hidden man of God. A whole lot of resources in this fellow. Don't, don't take this one for granted. Ooh, that's stuff locked up in him. Don't take him for granted. Preacher, 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 preacher. And upon my servants and my handmaids, your old men, your young men, How's it going? Dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. And that's him. In the name of Jesus. Man of God. The third generation preacher. Boy, no wonder you're so passionate. That's a preacher in there. Oh. Woman of God. Most people think they've got you figured out, but they really don't know who you are. You are fixing to take the world by storm. You're going to turn the world upside down. But look at me. Give God your all. Look at me. Now. You hear me? Give God your all. Right. Did somebody give God that 31? Need ten more. Thank you, Jesus. Well, bless the Lord. Now, after, now we're just not going to leave this experience here. But what are you going to do when you go home? You're going to dwell. What's his name? Huh? Darius. The king. Money, gold, and riches are his. How does he? One and a half.
If you don't raise this kid in holiness, the Lord will hold you responsible. That's your boy, right? Raise him in holiness. And I don't just mean in, you know, church. I mean raise him to know God. You need to make you need to make the same vow that I believe it was Hannah. Sit down, baby. That Hannah made to God when she wanted Samson. Give him back to the Lord. Give him back to God. Watch what goes in his mouth and in his head. Because what that boy speaks will come to pass. Jesus. Wow. How much more we got? Ten more. I get a ten dollars. Ain't gonna beg for no ten. Get a ten dollar gun. Amen. Ten people give a dollar. The mother, the mother come in and I get to moving on it now. I want you to pray for your mommy. Okay. You want to pray for your mama? Now, this is no embarrassment to you. Because Rosalind, you're a good girl. But when the enemy would have him, his prayers. See, that's why I need to get on a treadmill. The Holy Holy Ghost going to have me doing all of this. Valleys, Monday morning, Valleys, Valleys. I don't know how Benny Hinn does this on a regular basis. <laughs> but he only weighs for two pounds soaking wet. His prayer is going to keep a whole lot of trouble off you. And keep you out of trouble. God's going to visit you in your sleep. Ten people give a dollar. Go after God, y'all. Y'all go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Say thank you, Lord, for revival. Now, don't let tonight be the stopping point. Make it your vow to spend time with him. And let him fill you some more. Let him give you more. And more and more. Man of God, and I'm done. The Lord gave me a word for you earlier today. You, you are the priest of your home. Whatever you say over your household. Come to pass. It's your job now to hear from the Lord. As a matter of fact, the Lord gave me the word. He didn't use the word priest. I said priest, but what he called you was a prophet in your house. You are the prophet in your house. And just like a pastor or a prophet sees for a church and sees for people, I want you to get on your knees and be the prophet to your house. When you speak a word over your son's and daughter's life because God placed you there. Oh, he placed you there. You stand in the gap between the enemy and your children. 
And I'm pretty sure you have the same heart I do when it comes to this. You want to stop? Just let the organ play. I'm pretty sure you have the same heart when I do when it comes to this. I tell everybody, I don't have no stepchildren. All five of those, their last name is Davis. All of them. I feed them, I beat them, and I love them. And in my house, I'm your daddy. Your last name's Davis. It's not Anderson, Smith, and Whitney. Davis. Davis. That's China Davis. Devin Davis, Daquan Davis, Johnson, Amanda Davis, Davis. You are the prophet because they have your name. They have your name. And your children take on your spirit. Whatever you do affects them and whatever you don't do affects them. When you don't pray the enemy, you left your family open prey. When you pray, the enemy can't touch you. Don't call me chauvinist, call me Bible. But when a man prays, he has a power. Because there's certain authority that God placed in a man that he didn't give to a woman. Because he gave the charge to Adam. And there are things that God has given you, and the things that God gives the man when the woman is nowhere around. Same thing happens today. But the reason why this is so important is because of the destinies of your children. Whatever they see you be is what they will become. And much like this man here, you'll be able to wave your hand and bless your children. You will be the king of your house. Now, rule your house well. Rule it like a king. Whatever the king says will be, but say it under the authority of the Holy Ghost. When the enemy wanted to tear my marriage apart, I said, no. Can't have it. Because I spoke under the authority. I didn't speak in flesh. Some days, I didn't want to be bothered with them. Some days, they wouldn't be bothered with me. But I said, no matter what I feel, and I felt like other things. So no matter like what I feel, I had to stand under the authority and say what the Holy Ghost said. Do the same thing. Because that's greatness in you, preacher. Forget running. You're going to preach whether you like it or not. Raise your hands, man of God. God, I thank you for this young man. You received that word. Amen. Lord, I 